So John is still painting and I'm up in my little creative nook and I've decided to make myself a page marker for my planner. Um, I've got this paper left from the Grace Taylor Happy Days collection and I really like it. I really like the ice creams and stuff. So as you can see I've already used um, this was a 12 by 12 and I've already used some of it so I figured that I may as well just use this bit that's left and make myself a really nice page marker that I like. So I am just measuring it out. What I've done is I've left a bit of an overhang there so that because I'm very much a bottom tab kind of person I like finding the bottom tab so yeah so I've just worked out how much of a tab I want to leave and I've just kind of marked off there where um because I don't want it to, uh, to tab over the top I'm not really that bothered about that so I shall just use my um paper cutter and just cut that down and then don't know how wide to make it actually I want to make it I want to make it really thin because then it's kind of really bendy and I really like this pattern so I want to see a sub sort of enough of it so I might make it kind of that wide so you can at least see an ice cream at least down the middle um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I was measuring my marker up against the actual planner and then I decided to just remove this page from it it's it's just I have no need for it so I thought I might as well just take it out and then I can use it as a template um, it's basically the very last page it tells you who the artists were that contributed to the planner and then this diagram which I don't really care for so um, now I have myself a um, template and I've already cut my marker down so I'm just going to trace um, over that of where the holes are just kind of put some um, pencil marks on there and draw my holes okay so I've got my little holes all marked out so now I'm just going to use a single hole punch and I know the holes will be circular but I'm just going to um, punch the holes and there it is there's my page marker I um, so I laminated it um, to make it stronger and more durable and then I cut little slits right near the holes so um, you probably you guys probably know how to make page markers but just in case you don't um, that's how you make one and so then you can just <laughs> he's out there painting why are you giggling because you went that's how you do it what? it's obvious isn't it <laughs> Rimmy. So the whole deal with the slits is that you can just go like that and just take it out and then put it back where um, ever you want it to be. So I've now got myself a lovely page marker for my bando planner and um, while I was making one for the bando I also made one for my Kate Spade. The, the shop bandeau I'm using just for um, home and personal. The Kate Spade I am using for work stuff. And I just made myself one exactly the same way. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I can now easily um, find my place. And I'm very much a bottom person like when I want to find um, a place. I hold my planner and I go straight to the bottom. I made the tabs a bit bigger than they needed to be, but that's cool. I don't mind that. There we go. That's how I made it.